you know, so congrats to them. Coach, you've been in this league a long time. Is this just kind of par for the course, life in the ACC on the road? Yeah, you know, when you get to end of January, early February, everyone's banged up, you're a little bit tired, you know, and things like that. The teams that uh, are resilient, you know, they figure out ways to win. And it helps when you have veteran guys that have had success. You know, they have they have five guys on this team that were an uh, integral part of a Sweet 16 team last year. And I think that show, especially today, especially coming af out after the way they lost. Uh, I mean, that was such a heartbreaking loss. And for them to come out, especially Reed, to respond like he did, uh, you, know, you know, with missing those free throws, you know, you tip your hat to him. Uh, but, you know, this league is tough. You know, Clemson's played a very challenging schedule up to this point, as have we. And, uh, you know, you have to figure out a way to win. We weren't resilient, and so we didn't we didn't deserve to even have a chance uh, and tonight. This is also the game with basketball. They don't hit a three-pointer at NC State, and they come out and hit seven of them for State or six for seven. Yeah, you know, it, it, it helps when our defense, you know, we, we, we've been good defensively all year. We were not, especially in the first half. There was no resistance. It was almost like those guys were – uh, like a shoot around, <laughs> you know, and, and, and then you see it go in and then you get into a rhythm, the basket seems big. And uh, so that certainly helped. Can your young guards learn from we have like to. this? Yeah, we have to. I mean, we have no choice. We have to learn from it. Coach Trey uh, grew up near here. Um, you think he was pressing a little bit tonight or just an off night for him? I just think it was off night. You know, he hasn't played well the past few games, really since the Florida State game. And uh, I think my guards, I think my young guys, I think my team, I think we're a little bit fatigued. It's no excuse. We have to figure a way to get past it. We have to be tougher and more resilient. With the losing streak, how do you keep everybody's attention, keep them engaged through what's a tough you know, stretch in January? Yeah, you know, it's tough. I mean, you know, the losing streak is, is at Syracuse, Duke, uh, you know, at Clemson, um, and there's one more Louisville. in there. Yeah, Louisville, at Louisville. You know, so it's tough. This league is tough. It's a grind. And like I've said, the teams that are resilient are the teams that figure out a way. We're still learning a lot. We're still learning how to get through this league and how to, you know, hope to become better in this league. Um, you know, we've done some good things early, but that's not good enough now. No one cares about that. And we have to understand that. And the only thing that matters is what you do in the present. And so we have to get a lot tougher. Well, you know, I apologize for this is a excellent turn. What did Al do at Got hurt in practice on Sunday. And uh, it swole up, got x-rays. There was nothing, uh, a fracture or anything broken. But he, uh, in the shoot around this morning, we made a determination that he wouldn't be able to play. He couldn't, he couldn't catch the ball. How much did that affect what you'd like to do? Tonight? It affects us. I mean, that's a guy that's been starting for us. as our leading rebounder. You know, it certainly affected us. But I'll tell you what, Samson George came in and gave us great minutes. I thought Cameron Davis came in and gave us really good minutes. And I, I thought City came in and gave us really good minutes. You know, did it affect us? Yes, because we had a, you know, a rotation of what we've been doing. Uh, but you know, it's no excuse. You know, we have to play better. Everyone on our team is an opportunity to step up. Some guys did, some guys didn't. Are you all checking on these two guys? We hope so. We'll evaluate them uh, when we practice again. They had some, but it's not. It's not. That's an excuse. Like, they kicked our butt. You know, we had no intensity, no energy, no desire. We had none of that. Or we had none of it early, and that's unacceptable. I thought in the second half we had that, uh, but we did not have that for the first 20 minutes of the game. And I have to do a better job of figuring out why and, and changing that. And we will. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.